everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a really fun and unique look for you guys obviously not a wearable look but it is inspired by the ocean I mixed a lot of fun water activated paints that I've never used before and some eyeshadows that I don't use very often to create dimension and this is the first time I've ever painted my ears so it was kind of a fail but if you want to see how I turned myself into the ocean then just keep watching so starting with these wolf fx paints i'm going to take the dark blue color and start laying out where i want the darkest part of the water which would symbolize the deepest part since the deeper you go out into the ocean the darker it gets so i'm taking one of the brushes that comes with the palette and i'm just going to start laying out where i want my color at and where i want it to begin and end Now I'm taking the sponge from Wolf FX and I'm going to start saturating the color more and filling in. I'm not going to talk a whole lot through this video, so I will insert some music here so you guys can enjoy it while you watch me fill in the rest of my face. taking the sea foamy green color I'm going to start creating more of the shoreline and where it would be less deep in the water. in the dark blue I'm going to blend out some of the areas to make it look more like the ocean is swirling together and the tides moving and mixing around. Taking some white face paint this kind is from Snazaroo. I'm just going to take a small brush and start adding some little wave crests in here 
making it look like there's foam on the tops of the waves and like they're crashing into the shore. this dark blue shadow I'm going to take a fluffy brush and start adding little patches where I want it to be a little bit darker make it look like really deep spots out in the ocean and kind of create that look of currents moving under the water or maybe fish kind of feeding there. Now taking this teal shimmery shade from the Wild and Alluring palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm taking a different fluffy brush and adding this to my eyelids and different parts of my face just to create that shimmery effect that water has and make it look like it's glistening. So basically, kind of how you would highlight your face normally I'm doing with this shadow. Taking the pink water activated paint from the palette I used before, I'm just going to start painting on some little things on the shore. I decided to do starfish and a few seashells just to add a little bit of color to the shoreline and make it look like things had been washed up. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out the rest of the 100 Days of Makeup. I have a lot of fun stuff coming up for you guys. Bye!